Welcome back to the AI Couple and this highly requested video on how to create your own custom GPT. I'm going to make this really easy and quick and straightforward for you so you can follow along. And in the first part of this video, I'm going to show you an easy method how you create your own custom GPT. And in the second part of this video, I'm going to walk you through some more advanced techniques and examples. So let's dive right in. First of all, you have to be a ChatGPT Plus or Pro user. Only then can you create your own custom GPT. There are usually two reasons why you want to do that. The number one reason is you have a process or a structure, for example, creating a YouTube script or a social media post or something that requires quite a few steps and you want to teach that to ChatGPT. So every time you or someone of your team does it, it will follow that process and it will guide you through and you don't have to remember all the steps and you can automate and make this process more easy. That's number one. And the second step is that you would want to put in knowledge that you have, like from a book you've written or blog articles or knowledge that you've accumulated and that you want to make accessible for you or for someone else through the ChatGPT interface, like a knowledge-based ChatGPT. That's the second big use case. And there's also an overlap between the two of them, obviously. So you create a custom GPT that has all your knowledge and follows a certain process and, for example, guides customers or employees through a certain process. The example I'm going to use to showcase this today is a process specific GPT. First of all, let's go right in and set it up. You're here, you click on explore on the left, and then you will see a little plus on the top that says create a GPT. So all the ones that you already created, you see down here. And if you scroll further down, you see the ones made by OpenAI, like one specific for images or one specific for creative writing coach or helps you get better, become a better negotiator and so on. We want to create our own. So you click on create a GPT. Now, please pay attention. What I'm going to tell you now is going to be super important. What you see here is the left side and the right side. On the left, you're going to create your GPT. And on the right side, you can interact with it and test it. But that's not all. On the left side, you have two options how you can do that. Option number one is this create tab where you can basically chat back and forth. And then based on what you put in, ChatGPT will create um, a description and instructions for your custom GPT. That might sound complicated, but it will become clear in a second. So this is a conversation based approach if you're here in the create tab. My recommendation, don't use that. My recommendation is go directly to configure. And here you can directly specify how you want the GPT to act, what, what you want it to know, how you want it to perform. So you will give it a name and a short description. And then here you can type in all the instructions that you want it to do. Steps of a process you want it to follow through, the way you want it to talk to you, things you want it to do, things you how, how you want it to react and so on and so forth. Now, if you are here and create and start telling it what you want it to do, it will create a description and put it here. That's all it does. Like all the create tab does is like a, like a layer on top, like a GPT on top that will try to reason and, and understand what you want and then put the information here in instructions. And why I don't like that is because every time I do something here, it will start to change something over here. And maybe sometimes I actually would have liked to keep some of it, and but it will change it anyway. And I don't have any control on what's actually in here. And especially in process oriented GPTs where you want it to follow certain steps, you're way better off just telling it the steps you want it to have than for it to have come up with it on its own. So just take my word for it. Don't mess with the create, go to configure directly. Now, if you already know really well what you want to do, you could just start by it. You could say, this is my weekly planning um, buddy and um, this GPT helps me do my weekly business planning. And then you do step one, step two, step three, and so forth. And you teach it what you want it to do. You say save, and then you, you can start going. Now, what if you don't know exactly how to do that? And here's what I'm going to show you a little trick. Let's open a new tab. Let's keep this where it is and open a new tab with ChatGPT. Regular chat. Let's say we want to build a custom gift ChatGPT that will help you find the perfect gift for your partner, for your fiance, for your girlfriend. And it's anniversary coming up and you don't have any idea. And so you want ChatGPT to help you with that. And you want to systematize, 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 systematize that process. So every time you do it, it will guide you through the process and come up with the perfect gift idea. So I don't really know 
what I need there. So I will use a technique which is called an iterative prompt. Our outcome of this is to come up with a good process that we then can put into the instructions of the, of the GPT. So we are going to say, I want you to help me come up with a process to create gift ideas. Ask me a few questions to understand better what my outcome is and then help me craft a process. Okay, that's already pretty cool. So uh, he wants to know the recipient profile. So is it a family member or a friend? Occasions. Okay, what is this for? A budget range. Okay, nice. Uh, personalization level. A time frame. How much time do you have to prepare the gift? Previous gifts and constraints and preferences. Okay, allergies, ethical considerations. That's, that's amazing. I like all of them except number six. Okay, this is the gift idea creation process. It already gave us a pretty cool process uh, to follow from identifying the recipient, understanding the occasion, setting the budget, personalization level, time management, and so on and so on. So this is already pretty cool. Now I need to tell it that I actually want this to be a guideline that a custom GPT can follow and that it needs to reword a few things. So as I said, turn this into an actionable process that I can use as instructions in a custom GPT. I want the GPT to act as my gift coach. Okay, wonderful. I will copy them in. And now a last trick, depending on what process you are using, you can always ask ChatGPT if it knows experts in the field and you can actually have the GPT assume this expert to guide you through that process. So I will ask it if it knows any gifting experts that we could use. So I said, please name a gifting expert whose expertise could help in this process. Um, a renowned expert in the field of gifting is John Rulin, author of Giftology, the art and science of using gifts to cut through the noise. Okay. Yeah, sure. Now let me copy this whole process over here. I will simply paste it in here in instructions. I don't need this top part here. Uh, I'll say act as the gifting expert, John Rulin and help me find the perfect gift. Please use the following process and ask me questions whenever you need input from me. And then we have all that. And then I always like to add, we don't need the end. And then I will always like to add, please always be concise and short in your answers. Okay, we name this thing gift giving buddy. This GPT helps me come up with creative gift ideas. So now we click on the plus here and say, Use Dolly and it will create an icon, an image. That's really convenient. You can also upload your own. And now down here, don't worry about those things down here. I will talk to them in the second half of this video and the more advanced things. For now, in, if you don't use a knowledge base and you don't need to upload things uh, to teach ChatGPT uh, about you or your business, uh, we are good to go. This is all we need and we can proceed. Okay, cute little logo. And now we click on save and then you have three options. You can say only me, then it's only available for you. You can say anyone with a link um, or actually everyone. The GPT store is about to open in a few days. Um, OpenAI has announced this and this is going to be super huge and you can actually use custom GPTs also as marketing instrument. But for now, I will do anyone with a link and say confirm. I will give you access to this chat GPT in the comments. And now it opened an instance of uh, the gift giving buddy here and we can try it out. One word of caution. Uh, if you want to edit it, you simply click on the little drop down and say edit GPT. And here, if you do anything in the preview to test it, which is fine, I can start the process here. But everything I do here, once I close it will be forgotten. So you are used to all the chats being saved in your chat history. And imagine you come up with a great idea and then you close this window and it's gone. You can't get it back. And then you think like, oh, what was this great idea? So actually, I don't even use the preview side here. I go straight to the actual GPT. And when you save it, it will open uh, automatically a new chat instance. And then you can, you can start going. So now let's say I need a gift for my wife. Great. Let's start by building a profile for your wife to find the perfect gift. Could you please provide me with some details about her? Specifically, I'd like to know. Okay, I just gave it the four answers and hit enter and let's see what it does next. Okay, thank you for the information. Now let's move on to the next step. Could you please specify the occasion? This will help in aligning the gift with the significance of the event. It is her birthday. Great, birthday gift for your wife. Next, could you let me know what budget range you have in mind for this gift? Okay, let's say up to $200. How personalized would you like this gift to be? Um, very personal. You see, it follows the process we taught it to do. How much time do we have to prepare? 
I have four weeks and now there are some suggestions. Okay, custom outdoor adventure, plan a day trip or weekend getaway to a beautiful outdoor location, like a scenic hike, a picnic with her favorite foods. She will love that. Perhaps an outdoor dance lesson or a small portable speaker for a music filled evening under the stars. Pretty cool. Art and music experience, organize a private art workshop or a music class for both of you, focusing on a style or instrument she loves. It's a way to bond over her interests. Personalized art piece, commission a local artist to create a piece of art that reflects her passions. A dance night at home, transform your living room into a dance floor. Memory, scrapbook or video, compile a scrapbook or digital video of your best moments together, highlighting your adventures. Amazing, right? And then you could say, okay, um, I like number two, please give me more details. And now you can use this every time you need a gift for your mom, for your best friend, forever. And this might seem elaborate and not very useful, maybe, or it is super useful to you. But this is an example of how quickly you can create something that you can use over and over and over again. And um, you can create this for anything in your business or in your private life. I will give you the link to this gifting buddy down in the description, and then you can use it to create a super cool gift. And drop me a link in the comments. Um, what kind of gift you came up with or if the person you gifted it to loved it. Now, second part of this video, I'm going to show you some more advanced stuff and talk about more things you can do. So if we are back in um, the GPT area, if you scroll further down, conversation starters. So this actually is something if you open a new chat, you see at the bottom possible things you could ask chat GPT or start with. So you can type here, help me find the perfect gift, for example. And then this is something you can click on and then it will kick off the interaction. You can have multiple, you don't have to have any, this is just to explain you what this is. Knowledge, upload files. Here you could upload a profile, for example, of your wife and your kids so that it already knows them and you don't have to um, put that in every time you use it. You can do the work once and then save it and upload the files here. If you do a knowledge-based GPT here, you could upload a PDF of a book or you could upload Excel sheets of your company like the, the balance sheets or the income statements, uh, cash flow statements of the last months or years, the credit background or things you want to analyze of your social media. If you're in business and you want to use it to analyze your performance of certain things, then you could upload all of that here. So. Um, the more knowledge focused you are, the more you're going to upload. There's an upload limit of 10 files, as far as I know. And then the ChatGPT has access to all the data in your knowledge base and will search those based on the prompts you give it when you interact with it. Then you can tick the boxes if you want it to be able to browse access the web. Um, for example, we could in our gift example say, okay, where do I buy this gift or where could I go? I am located here. Give me a recommendation for a hike. And then it would search the internet and come up with um, with recommendations. And DALI image generation, if you wanted to be able to create images or not, so you can tick or untick those boxes. Now, under actions, create new actions, this is a more advanced feature. And I have a video about that that I've linked to uh, here. <laughs> For example, you can hook up your custom GPT with Zapier and trigger Zapier actions from within your custom GPT. Um, and this is super useful for more complex automations or for more complex stuff. You can also, if you use coding, you can hook up APIs from third party tools to interact, to pull data from, or to ask stuff or to do calculations and all those things. So this is more advanced. If you're interested in that, watch the video I linked you uh, in, uh, below. And this concludes um, the more in-depth discussion of the advanced features here. If you have any questions, if you want me to showcase something, drop a link in the comments and um, I will record a video. I hope this was helpful. Uh, hit like or subscribe or both uh, if you like what we're doing and then I'll see you in the next video. Bye.